Hey guys, so today's video is actually gonna be a pretty quick video. Haha, <laughs> nope. I was planning on posting something else today, but I've been getting so many DMs and tweets from you guys telling me to review the new <gasps> ColourPop blush sticks. Well, they have highlight sticks as well. It's like the whole blush and light stick release that I was so freaking excited about. And I actually didn't know about this till like a week before they announced. And I actually got them in the mail a couple of days ago. And I spent all of yesterday playing around with them. I was like trying all of them on my face. And I was just messing with the formula to see how I felt about it because I knew I wanted to sit down and give you guys a review. So that is what I'm gonna be doing for you guys today. I do show you guys a clip of me trying on one of the sets on my face so you can see it like in action. But I am gonna be showing you guys swatches of everything as well now these aren't all the colors that they offer these aren't all the blushes or the highlights I'm just gonna be sharing with you their five sets they do have these super adorable sets that they released and those are the colors I'm gonna be going over but they do have a few more online and actually I am really into the super pearlized blushes because you know I like a dewy blush and I believe the color is wallaby and I think the other one is called sideways it's like a really intense like pearly orange <gasps> Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to try that one out. I have a feeling it's going to be amazing. I want to go on the website and order a couple of them. But today we are going to be going over the five sets. And each set comes with three sticks. You get two blushes and one highlight. They have a purple, a peach, a pink, a rose, and like a blush. And for some reason, the ColourPop website is like not working. I'm trying to load it and it's like not working on my phone. But I'm pretty sure that if you buy this set, it retails for $22. But each individual stick does retail for 8 bucks, which is so affordable so affordable i mean i know color pop is affordable but sometimes i feel like i forget because the packaging is so cute and they do everything so well that it blows my mind that they're such an affordable brand Okay, so before I get into the swatches, I do want to discuss the formula a bit, but I definitely will give you more information as I go on because I think that my opinion changes depending on the color. But overall, I think these are really great, especially for the price. They actually remind me a lot of the Nude Sticks blushes. And I mean their traditional cream blushes. I don't mean the new ones that just recently came out that are very, very dewy. Very reminiscent to the original Nude Sticks uh, formula which is really amazing every single one that I've tried on my cheeks they were all really easy to blend out with the exception of one which wasn't hard to blend out I just didn't love it and I'll talk about it when I get there but these were really easy to blend out and really easy to work with some of these blushes have different finishes I would say the majority of them have a very natural creamy finish it's not super dewy nor is it super matte and then there are some in here who do have more of a matte finish and those especially remind me so much of the nude sticks ones none of these in the set really have a sheen they more so have like a either a natural matte finish or like a creamy kind of finish <laughs> if that makes any sense. And then as for the highlights, I am not as impressed with the highlights as I am with the blushes, I'm not gonna lie. I am extremely picky when it comes to cream highlights. I've been very vocal about that. For me, it's so hard to find a cream highlight I really, truly love. My favorite ones are the ones from Hourglass, and those are so pricey, but they have the most gorgeous finish I've ever seen on a cream highlight. Like, it just, it, it's stunning. They're super reflective, and they don't have any glitter. These, these are nice. You do have to use quite a bit to get a really intense sheen or a really intense glow for some of them, for some of these. And then the other ones that are more intense are full of glitter. A lot of these have glitter. You can't really tell when you're swatching them, but when you're applying them on the cheeks, the glitter particles just like really, really show up. And I don't necessarily love that, like I said. That's not all of these. Some of these don't have glitter at all and I actually do enjoy those. I only have five highlights in front of me here. I don't know about the rest of them, but honestly it's about personal preference because I'm not gonna lie, although I think the shade Star Bright is a little bit too intense for me and just slightly too glittery for me, I do really like it on the cheeks and I think it's such a unique highlight and so intense that I absolutely can see myself patting this on top of another highlight because it is such a unique color that completely disappears unless it's directly under the light. I'm telling you, my opinion changes from color to color. But overall, I do think the blush sticks are better than the light sticks. But again, it's an $8 highlight. The hourglass ones are like 48. <laughs> so yeah. I actually wore the shade 25.8 yesterday and I felt like it lasted all day. I didn't really find the need to touch up. Even though it wasn't super, super intense by the end of the night, I still saw it there. It was still there. So that's pretty impressive. And I mean, honestly, I've only been testing out these blushes for like two days, but I really like them so far. But anyway, let's get into the swatches of each set and my opinion on each set. We are starting off with Moonlight and Magnolias. So the two blushes you get are called Hooked and 25.8. And then the highlight is Starbright 
which I already told you guys how I feel about this highlight. Although it is glittery, there's something about it that I can't deny. And I like that it hides in the shadows when you turn your face. Like you can only really see the sparkle directly in the light. It's pretty interesting. And then the blush in 25A is actually so pretty. It's like an everyday nude pink that I feel like would honestly go with anything. Warm looks, cool looks. It's that perfect neutral pink that honestly just pairs well with so many different looks. Sometimes it's hard to find a blush that goes with everything and I feel like this one does. And then the other blush is called Hooked and this is actually one of the blushes that I did not like. I usually, I don't wanna say that I don't always because I have several blushes in my collection that have glitter that I like, but usually I don't like them, especially if the blush isn't already really dewy. Like if it's a super sheeny blush, very dewy, and it has a little bit of sparkle, okay fine, that's the vibe we're going for. But this color has like that natural creamy finish and and then it just has a ton of gold glitter in it and I I just don't like the way this looks on my cheeks. I applied it to my cheeks yesterday in the morning and I just felt like my pores looked bigger so I took it off and it's just not my favorite. But I do really like the other two in this set. Next up we have Peony for your thoughts. Oh my god, the packaging on these sets are honestly one of the cutest things ColourPop has done. Like, adorable, adorable. I love this, like, floral package. Oh, I live, I live. So, in this set, the two blushes you get are Mini Me and Flamenco. And then the highlight you get is Earth. This set is definitely one of my favorites because I feel like all three of them are really, really gorgeous. And there's nothing negative to say about either one of these. Except maybe the highlight isn't as intense as I would like it to be. It's not going to be a super metallic cream highlight, but... <laughs> still really beautiful. This is actually one of the ones that doesn't have any glitter in it. It's just a pure sheen that has a slight pinky undertone. So if you want to try out one of the ColourPop highlight sticks that doesn't have any glitter in it, this is one of them. And then these blushes are really beautiful too. You have Flamenco, which is a little bit more on the matte side. And like I said, even the matte ones aren't matte. They're not drying. They're not patchy. It's a matte that truly wears well on the skin and it looks very, very natural. And this one is such a bold pink that can look so, so intense on the cheek if you build it up or it can look really, really wearable if you just do one swipe. And then Mini Me is gorgeous. This is my favorite in the set. It's a lot juicier than Flamenco. It's a bit creamier and it just has such a pretty like bubblegum finish to the cheeks while looking so natural and fresh. I really, really love this one. And then I also wanted to mention my favorite way to apply it. I know I've spoken to you guys about this in the past, especially since I'm so vocal about how much I love cream bronzer and blush, but this is my favorite brush in the entire world to apply cream blush. But this is the It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe number no. seven brush, which is weird. This is the exact same brush, only the bottom of this one is round and the bottom of this one is flat. And this one is exclusive to Ulta and this one isn't, but it's like the same. And this one's called the number 132 brush. So I mean, Whichever one you find. This brush to me is absolutely necessary for cream blush though. I cannot, I will not use any other brush. This one is just perfect for your freaking chic bones. And it always applies it so nicely and so evenly. I never get patchiness with this guy. It's amazing and it just like buffs it out beautifully. And my favorite way to go in on the face is just to take the blush and apply it directly to the brush. And then I'll just pat it like this on the back of my hand a few times so that I can move the product around the brush and it's not just saturated like in one spot from going like this. Doing this and like blending it around makes it a lot more even when you go to apply it to the face and that is definitely key when applying cream blush. You want to make sure your whole brush is like evenly coated. That's how I do it and it works for me. It's my favorite way to apply blush. I do not like to go in like this and then tap it out with the fingers because I feel like you get a lot more patchiness with that and it won't look as even or as seamless. And then for highlight, I have yet to find a brush that applies cream highlight as good as my fingers do. I just, I, I have yet to find one. I just like to do a little tappy tap, let the warmth of my fingers really melt it into my skin and boom. But okay, let's move on. I just completely forgot to tell you my favorite way to apply it. Okay, so next up we have Call Me Big Poppy, which as you can probably tell, was the set I was most excited for. So the two blushes you get are called Aloha and Under Pressure. Aloha is the lighter one in the set, and this one has that really juicy, creamy finish that looks so gorgeous on the cheeks. This is the one that I would choose to just like throw on my face every single day because I prefer warm makeup. I'm usually in a warm toned look. <laughs> like the perfect nude blush with a hint of peach, and it's so buildable, like you can apply such a soft layer of this and then really build it up. I find that their creamy finishes blend even a little 
bit better than their matte ones. I mean, the matte ones blend really well as well. But I don't know, I just love how fresh this one looks on the cheeks and I feel like you can never apply too much of this color. And then this one in Under Pressure is so, so gorgeous. It has like a hot coral undertone that just makes you look so summery and sun-kissed. I don't know what it is about it, but it has that subtly bright effect and just like poppy. Yeah, exactly, it's poppy. And it looks absolutely stunning. It has more of a matte finish, but you can see on my cheeks, even though it's a matte blush, it looks really healthy and dewy on my face because I have a dewy foundation on already. So if you actually do want the blush to look really matte, I would suggest going in with a matte foundation. The highlight in this set is called Bullseye and I actually, ugh, I have a love-hate relationship with this one. The minute you start applying this one to the cheeks, your cheeks just look so golden and intense and just really glossy and pretty. Only thing is that there are glitters in this one as well. It's not something that looks chunky on the skin whatsoever, like it doesn't look textured and weird, but you do see those little glitter sparkles shine through. It's not so bad on this one, so I feel like I do like it. I don't... I don't know, I have to play around with it a little bit more, but I'm, I'm not mad at it. I mean, I would prefer it not to have those little glitters, but I feel like it makes the highlight look a little bit more intense. So I'm kind of on the fence. Like, do I like you? Do I not? I, I think I do. I mean, I, I'm wearing it on my cheeks right now, and I really, really like it. You can only see the glitter when you get up close. But again, it's not like a super offensive glitter. Like I wear the glittery blush from the Magnolia set and to me that's like an offensive glitter. It's just like a lot and I don't like it. This is like subtle but makes it special. I don't, I don't know what I'm saying but I really really like this set. Okay so next up we have Orchid You Not. So cute. And this is the purple set and this one is really beautiful as well and I really recommend it if you like purpley toned blushes. You get the shade Cool It and you also get Pretty Thing. Cool It is the lighter one and it has that dusty purple undertone that looks really gorgeous with pretty much any cool toned look. It's a very shy color, it's not very loud, so I feel like it would go with a lot of different things and I really love the finish of it, very natural. And then Pretty Thing is the more matte shade and it's a little bit deeper, more intense and this one can get pretty deep pretty fast. I only needed to dunk my brush in one time versus all these other shades that I did have to build up a little bit more, which I prefer. But the the color is really, really gorgeous. And I feel like on those of you with medium skin, this would look so, so pretty. As for the highlight in this set though, this one is definitely my least favorite in the entire collection. And this one is called Flying High. And it's one of those iridescent, like magical highlights. You guys know you've seen these a million times. And don't get me wrong, it's so beautiful, especially like when I swatch it on the back of my hand. Oh my gosh, this is so stunning. And I love that you can only see the sparkle when the light hits it, but I just didn't like how it applied on my cheeks. There is glitter, <laughs> there's like a lot of glitter in this, which I mean is fine. I think a lot of people like glittery highlights when it comes to colors like this, but I would have preferred like a pinky sheen as opposed to like a glittery one. I just think it applies a little bit chunky on the cheeks. So this one is not my favorite, but the blushes in the set are beautiful. And then last but not least, we have this set called Rose to the Top. I do think they should make another set that maybe has like more burgundy vibes, like deep purple burgundy vibes, because I feel like we're missing one more set. I just feel like it needs one more, you know? But this set is beautiful. Oh my gosh, if you have like a deeper skin tone, you need this set. I love this highlight. I'm like shocked because it's my favorite highlight, but it's too deep for me. Like it's my favorite one in, uh, out of all of these. I'm gonna start with the highlight, apparently. The highlight you get in the rose set is called Acting Up. And this one isn't exceptionally unique or anything like that. It's not very metallic. It's not super different than these, but I love it because it is a beautiful blush topper. I wore Mini Me yesterday and I wanted to make it a little bit more sheeny and a little bit more golden. You know me, I like a juicy cheek. So I wanted to make it even more juicy and I took my blush brush, I just like rubbed it in this and I just started to pat it over and my cheeks just looked so summery and I loved the way that it looked. You know what, let's put some. I mean, I already have like highlight on and I already powdered so this might be a hot mess, but we'll see. You know what is a hot mess though? My hair like, oh my God. That's a hot mess. I look crazy. But I just went like this, tap some on my hand, and then I was just like patting this over my entire cheek. It has that golden deep base color to it and it looks like a super dewy blush on my cheeks. But another thing I love about this is that it's not too intense, it's not too metallic, so it doesn't look ridiculous over my other cream blush. It's nothing that's gonna make you look ridiculous and like super, super wet. But can you see the difference? on my cheeks. Oh, it's just such a juicy blush topper. If you have a deeper skin tone, this is gonna be a really beautiful natural highlight. But on me, I love it. 
because it blushed double. And also, this one doesn't have any glitter whatsoever. I completely forgot to mention that. Love, love, love this one. And then the blushes you get are called Roosevelt and Invite Only. Invite Only is not my favorite. I haven't put on the cheeks, I'm not gonna lie. I haven't put any of these on my cheeks. But just upon swatching them, Invite Only has glitter in it. Not as much glitter as the blush in the Magnolia set does, but it does have a bit of glitter. Although it's so faint, I don't think you'll be able to tell that much on the cheeks. This is a really pretty rose-toned blush though. Perfect if you have a deeper skin tone. And then this one in Roosevelt is so beautiful. I feel like you can also wear this if you're very, very fair. You just have to use a light hand. It's more of like a nude with a brownish rose undertone. I like the finish of this one and I like that it pairs with so many different looks and it's one of those everyday colors. And yeah, that is the rose set. And that is all the sets. So yeah guys, that completes this video. I wanted to show you all the sets, show you all the swatches, and tell you my thoughts on all of them. But overall, I would say I do really like these, especially the blushes. I just think they're so easy to blend and so easy to work with. And for $8 a piece, you really can't go wrong. I would say my favorite, favorite, favorite ones are Mini Me, Aloha, and Actin' Up Highlight, believe it or not. The, the Actin' Up Highlight is like my favorite thing that I've discovered in all of these sets. But so far, so good. I love how my cheeks look right now. Like, how summery do I look? Leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think of these blushes and highlights. Selena's ready to go. She's like, let's go outside. Are you guys gonna be picking any of these up? How do you feel about the glitter? How do you feel about the finish? How do you feel about the packaging? I love the packaging, by the way. I didn't touch on that. But I think the packaging is A1. But honestly, ColourPop packaging is always perfect. <laughs> but anyway, guys, that completes this video. I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. And I actually got them in the day. And I actually got them in the day. Fuck. And I actually got them in the day. Oh my god, I can't say that sentence. And then this one in under pressure is so, so gorgeous. What?